Ever wondered how Samore, the undisputed queen of comedy, started her journey to stardom? Well, her story begins in the vibrant city of Trenton, New Jersey, where she was born and raised. Known to her family and friends as Lori Ann Rambo, she was naturally drawn to comedy from a young age. Growing up, Lori was not your average child. She was always the one to bring laughter and joy to any gathering. She was the kid who would have everyone in stitches with her witty jokes and humorous stories. This early knack for comedy hinted at the successful career that was yet to come. While her talent was undeniable, Lori knew she needed more than just her natural comedic flair to make it in the world of stand-up comedy. So she decided to pursue higher education at Morris Brown College in Atlanta, Georgia. This was a strategic decision, as Atlanta was fast becoming a hub for emerging comedians. It was here that she would hone her skills, perfecting her comedic timing and delivery, while also earning a degree. But it wasn't all fun and games for Lori at college. She worked tirelessly, balancing her studies with her passion for comedy. She would spend her days in the lecture halls and her nights at the local comedy clubs, testing out her material on willing audiences. This was the time when Lori truly started to evolve into Samor, the comedy powerhouse we know today. Fueled by her love for comedy and her desire to succeed, Lori graduated from college ready to take on the world. She was no longer just Lori Rambo, the funny girl from Trenton. She was now Samor, a determined and ambitious woman with a clear vision for her future. And so, with a degree in hand and a dream in her heart, Samor embarked on her journey towards becoming the queen of comedy. From humble beginnings, Samor began to carve out a name for herself in the world of comedy. Born and raised in Trenton, New Jersey, she never let her small town roots limit her big city dreams. Summer's career kicked off in the early 90s when she graced stages at comedy hotspots like Def Comedy Jam and Showtime at the Apollo. Her comedic chops combined with her distinctive style quickly caught the attention of audiences and industry insiders alike, setting the stage for her breakthrough performance on HBO's Def Comedy Jam. It was here that Summer showcased her ability to blend humor with social commentary all while keeping audiences rolling in the aisles. Her fearless and unapologetic humor was a breath of fresh air in the comedy scene, and she was swiftly making her mark. But what really set Samora apart was her unique approach to comedy. She wasn't just a comedian, she was a storyteller. Her jokes were packed with punchlines, yes, but they were also woven with threads of truth and personal experiences that resonated with her audience. She had the unique ability to make people laugh, but also make them think. And for some more, that was the magic of comedy. Some more's rise to fame wasn't just about cracking jokes, though. It was about breaking barriers. As a woman in a male-dominated industry, she proved that she could not only hold her own, but she could also excel. She was a force to be reckoned with, and her impact on the comedy scene was undeniable. With her unique style and wit, Samor was quickly making a name for herself on the comedy scene. From her early performances on Def Comedy Jam to her breakthrough on HBO, she demonstrated that comedy wasn't just about laughs, but about connection. And in doing so, she set the stage for her reign as the queen of comedy. As her star rose in the comedy world, Hollywood took notice. And why wouldn't it? When a talent like Samor comes along, you don't just give her a standing ovation, you roll out the red carpet. So what did Hollywood do? It opened its doors and welcomed Samor with open arms. The transition was seamless, like a master comedian landing her punchline. Samor's first foray into film was in the riotous comedy, Friday After Next. She wasn't just in the movie, she was the movie. Her character brought the house down with her sharp wit and comedic timing, but Hollywood wasn't done with Samor yet. She was next seen in the hilarious Soul Plane. If you thought she was funny on stage, you had to see her in this. She took her comedy chops to new heights, literally, as she kept audiences laughing from takeoff to landing. And just when you thought Somor couldn't get any funnier, she did. She joined the ranks of the queens of comedy. This wasn't just a title, it was a coronation. Somor was now comedy royalty, and she wore her crown with pride. She took to the stage with the confidence of a queen and the humor of a comedy genius, delivering jokes that had audiences doubling over in laughter. But here's the thing about Somor, she's not just a queen of comedy, she's a conqueror. She didn't just make it in Hollywood, she owned it. Every role, every punchline, every laugh was a testament to her talent and perseverance. And so, with her comedy prowess proven on stage and screen, Summer was becoming a force to be reckoned with. 
She had answered Hollywood's call and made it her own. She wasn't just a star anymore, she was a supernova, lighting up the comedy universe with her brilliance. And as we all know, the show is far from over, so stay tuned, because the best is yet to come. With a successful career under her belt, Samoa was not only a comedian, but a queen. She had been making people laugh for years, and her comedic prowess had not gone unnoticed. Her humor was raw, real, and refreshingly honest. It was this distinct style that earned her a place in the upper echelons of comedy. Samoa's stand-up specials were a testament to her talent. Each one was a masterpiece of comedy, filled with her signature wit and unfiltered observations. From the Queen Stands Alone to Chandelier status, she left no topic untouched giving her audience a dose of reality served with a side of laughter. Her work didn't stop there. Samoa was a regular on the comedy circuit, performing at shows across the country. Her performances were often sold out, a testament to her popularity and the respect she commanded in the industry. But perhaps the most significant acknowledgement of her talent was when she was crowned the Queen of Comedy. This title wasn't just a fancy moniker, it was an affirmation of her status in the comedy world. She shared the stage with other comedy greats, but Somor was always the queen, the one who set the bar for others to reach. Her accolades and awards were numerous. She was the first woman to host the BET's Comic View, and she was a part of the Queens of Comedy Tour, which was even recognized by the Guinness World Records. Each award, each recognition was a testament to her talent, her hard work, and her dedication to making people laugh. Samoa's journey wasn't just about being funny, it was about breaking barriers, about challenging the norm, and about proving that a woman could be just as funny, if not funnier, than her male counterparts. Samoa had reached the pinnacle of her career, but she wasn't done yet. She was a queen, yes, but she was also a comedian, and she would continue to wear both crowns with pride. For Samoa, the laughter would always continue. With fame and success comes a lifestyle to match, and it's no different for the comedy queen herself, Samoa. As her star rose, so did her taste for the finer things in life. Samoa's wealth is not just a reflection of her success, but it is also a testament to her hard work and dedication. Over the years, she has amassed a net worth that would make anyone green with envy. And what better way to enjoy such wealth than to live in style? Samoa's homes are nothing short of spectacular. Each one is a showcase of luxury and elegance, a true reflection of her refined taste. From high ceilings to marble floors, from stunning views to state-of-the-art amenities, every detail of her home screams opulence. They're not just houses, they're havens of comfort and style, perfect for a queen. And let's not forget about her car collection. Oh yes, Samoa surely knows how to ride in style. From sleek sports cars to luxurious sedans, her garage is a virtual showroom of automotive excellence. Each car is a symbol of her success, a testament to her taste for luxury. But Samoa's lavish lifestyle isn't just about material possessions, it's also about enjoying life to the fullest. Whether she's dining at the finest restaurants, jet-setting to exotic locations, or simply enjoying a day at the spa, Samoa knows how to live life on her terms. Her love for luxury is not about flaunting wealth, but about celebrating her success. It's about enjoying the fruits of her labor, about indulging in the best that life has to offer. It's a lifestyle that she has earned through her talent, hard work, and determination. So whether it's her stunning homes, her impressive car collection, or her love for the finer things in life, Samoa's lifestyle is a testament to her success. It's a reflection of the queen that she is both on and off the stage. Living a life of luxury, Samoa's success was evident not just in her comedy, but in her lifestyle. Behind the laughs and the luxury, who is Summer off the stage? On the stage, she's a comedic powerhouse, but behind the scenes, she's just Samoa, a woman navigating life and love. Now let's delve into the personal life of this queen of comedy. Samoa has always been private about her personal life, but she's not shy when it comes to talking about relationships in general. She believes that love is something to be cherished, nurtured, and most importantly, laughed about. She's often quipped about her own romantic escapades in her stand-up shows, making light of the ups and downs of love. She's been linked to several high-profile figures in the past, but Samoa has never been one to kiss and tell. She's stated in interviews that she prefers to keep her private life just that, private. She's a firm believer that her love life doesn't define her, and she's not about to let anyone else define it for her either. As for her views on love, Samoa has a rather pragmatic approach. She's often said that love is no fairy tale. It's messy, it's complicated, and it's never perfect. But that's what makes it real, and for Samoa, realness is everything. 
She's not about to settle for anything less. Despite her fame and fortune, Samor has never let her success overshadow her personal life. She's always made time for love, for her family, and for herself. She's a firm believer in balance, in taking time out to enjoy the simpler things in life. Somor's love life might not be the stuff of fairy tales, but it's real, it's hers, and she wouldn't have it any other way. She's a woman who loves fiercely, lives passionately, and laughs heartily. And that's what makes her Samor. In love and life, Samor remains true to her candid comedic self. From her humble beginnings to her reign as the queen of comedy, where is Somor today? Fast forward to the present day, and Somor is still shining brighter than a diamond-studded tiara. She's more than just a queen, she's a comedy dynasty, an empire of laughter that has stood the test of time. Somor's vivacious spirit and razor-sharp wit continue to captivate audiences, reminding us that true comedy is indeed timeless. Her recent projects are as diverse as they are impressive. From gracing the stage at sold-out comedy shows, to her appearances on popular TV shows, Somor's comedic prowess remains undimmed. She's still in the game, folks, and she's playing to win. Not content with just making us laugh, Somor is also using her platform to inspire. Through her work, she continues to break barriers, challenging stereotypes and pushing boundaries. She's a trailblazer, a pioneer, a woman who has carved out her own path in the comedy world. It's not just about the laughs, it's about making a difference. And Somor is doing just that. And let's not forget about her enduring popularity. Somor's fan base is as strong as ever, a testament to her ability to connect with her audience on a deeply personal level. Whether she's making us chuckle, cackle, or downright howl with laughter, Somor's humor hits home. It's real, it's relatable, and it's resonating with audiences everywhere. So there you have it. Somor is still on top, still making us laugh, and still breaking new ground. Her legacy is cemented, her influence undeniable. This comedy queen has proven time and time again that she's not just a flash in the pan, she's a force to be reckoned with. Still reigning as the queen of comedy, Somor's journey is a testament to her talent, tenacity, and timeless humor. So what can we take away from Somor's incredible journey? Well, first things first, Somor's story is a testament to what one can achieve with a potent mix of talent, passion, and hard work. She started her journey in Trenton, New Jersey, and through sheer determination, she emerged as one of the most influential figures in comedy. She's a real-life example of starting from the bottom and rising to the top. Somor's rise to stardom wasn't an overnight success. It was a journey filled with highs and lows, laughter and tears, and a lot of hard work. But she never let the challenges deter her. Instead, she used them as stepping stones, transforming every hurdle into a launching pad for her next big leap. In Hollywood, she's not just another comedian. She's a comedy queen, a trailblazer, a woman who broke barriers and set new standards. She showed the world that a woman can be equally funny, if not funnier, and that comedy isn't a boys club. It's a universal language that transcends gender. And let's not forget about the lifestyle that comes with the crown. From luxurious houses to expensive cars, Somor's wealth is a testament to her success. But it's not just about the material possessions. It's about the freedom to live life on her own terms, to pursue her passions, and to make people laugh. Somor's personal life is as fascinating as her professional one. She's fiercely private, yet her love for comedy is evident in everything she does. She's not just a comedian, she's a woman in love with her craft, and that love radiates from every joke she cracks. From Trenton to Hollywood, from the stage to our screens, Somor's journey is one of laughter, luxury, and a whole lot of love for comedy. She's a beacon of hope, a symbol of resilience, and a testament to the power of laughter. In the end, the key takeaway from Somor's journey is this. With love for what you do, a dash of humor, and a relentless spirit, you can conquer the world.